Hey, what's going on, Douglas family? What's going on, Eagles Nation? And you know, once uh, the Giants broke the streak, Giants broke that, uh, broke the uh, streak that we had against them, like eight and one with Carson Wentz. Now it's down to uh, eight and two now. So, um, congrats, Giants fans! Y'all got the win. You know, the, the streak was was bound to break some sometime, but. Man, yo, this team did not look ready at all. And quick, quick, quick note: Peterson is one in five coming from by one in four coming from bye weeks. Remember, he lost against Detroit, 2016, 2017 beat the Cowboys, destroyed them. 2018 lost to the Cowboys. 2019 lost to the Patriots. 2020 losing to the uh, Giants. So, I mean, honestly, coming back from the bye weeks, you probably should expect to, expect to lose this game. But we're a better team all around. You know, we had two weeks to prepare for this team. Not a new team, an old rival that we faced like two weeks ago. And the problem we said as Eagles fans, like, let's get to the defense first. Defense falls for the same trick over and over again. Daniel Jones running the ball. Now, I really don't know if it's Schwartz. Like his play, then get once again, his play home. Always, you know, letting um letting the receiving receivers some space to get, you know. Like six to five, six, seven, uh, six to seven free yards and get a first thing. That's how shirts always is, does. But linebackers, man, like, how did he not see that come? Like that first, like, no, that first, the first play of the game with Bernard that that second. I'm, I'm like, oh shit, we we about to go in on this game. Nope, that pass to Slayton. Yeah, that was uh, that 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 kind of like set things up right there. And then you know, then goes for like a thirty yard, was like a thirty yard something touchdown. It's like. Bruh, again with this shit. Like, how did you not see? How did you not know that it was it was coming? I think Jones was the leading re, leading receiver, and we're good at stopping the run, but we couldn't do that at all today on the defense. Like, the defense was just god awful. And like I said, we had two weeks to prepare for these guys, two weeks, and we did nothing about it. Like, I just don't. Oh my god, man, it's just. It's frustrating, man. It really is. Secondary was getting tore, was getting destroyed. Now Slay, this wasn't Slay's best game, but despite all that, he's been he's been great throughout this defense. I mean, eventually your your corners are going to get beat. It's going to happen. Like they're not perfect. Ramsey gets beat. Slay gets beat. Um, who else is a good corner? Um, Lattimore gets beat. Like all the receivers get beat. Like corners get beat. Like they're not invincible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to happen. But I mean, no, the defense did not, and the the, the tackle was terrible too. Like there were so many times I'm like, "Yo, are y'all gonna make the tackle or what?" Like it was just bad all around, man. And once again, man, linebackers, man, they're just for the life of me, I still understand why we didn't draft a linebacker in the second round. Which speaking of the second round, you know, we get to the other uh, imposter. No, well, I won't say imposter, but the other problem was Doug Peterson. First of all, the, the that first drive looked nice when we got the field goal. I'm thinking, okay, let's get some touchdowns now. From after that, though, no, the offense just looks shit. And that's just a problem. When your offense is not scoring any points, like any touches in the first half, again, remember, and the Giants had, this happened against the uh, Ravens. We couldn't get a touchdown in that first half. It, Peterson, like I said, Peterson, for me, he's got to go. Because I understand people want to say he's a good head coach. He wish give him a play on, which I agree. I'm all for that, too. But like I said this before, if, if Peterson... If you get an OC right, and your offense starts playing better, like maybe maybe like a ten top, like a top ten offense, right? Then that OC, that offensive coordinator, he's gonna get a job offer somewhere. And here we go, your Levin Peterson and a new OC. Like we need to have for us to get like a better head, um, play caller. Peterson needs to go, in my humble opinion. I mean, if you get an OC, okay, fine, I'll deal with it. But like to me, I'm at the part where I'm like, Peterson's got Peterson's got to go. Get a play caller that's gonna fit this offense because. First off, dude, Sanders had 15 attempts for 80 something yards. Stop competing the ball. Um, uh, Boston Scott, the Giants, could only had three carries for like six, six something, sixty something yards, I believe. So for whatever reason, you turn away from the running game as always. Why turn away from something that's that's doing good for you? Like why? Like stop trying to make your quarterback do everything. Football is a team game. If you want to be like, again, it's a quarterback league, but running the ball still helps. It helps. Remember that game when we beat the uh, Packers when um, Howard and Sanders had a day? We were running the ball. 
And for, for whatever reason, Pearson just wants to turn away from that. And Hurts, oh my god, bro. They know what's going to happen when Hurts is on the field. Like, he's just... Like, why are we using this dude? I don't understand why. We could have, he, we could have got so much other, other than him besides, besides Hurts. Like, he's just, oh my god. It just, Hurts didn't, didn't hurt, Hurts was just useless. Um, Kelsey with the bad stuff, that was bad. Um, now Wentz didn't play his best game, but he wasn't the reason why we lost. He had zero turnovers this game, guys. That's, that's what we wanted. Zero turnovers. Like we should just give the give the ball to uh, get the game to uh, get the ball to Sanders and Scott. They were just destroying the Giants on, with the running game, but you know Pearson wants to wants um wants to throw all the time, and the receivers man towards the end of the game um we need we need these plays. They are dropping the ball. That fourth down when we had like maybe four to five minutes left, I honestly would have kick of not not punt punt it, you know. Have them be down the field. The thing the defense would probably could have stopped them. I guess Peterson didn't, didn't trust the defense. But also Peterson, why do you keep on going for him? Like not going for, him, but why do you keep going for two? The first one, okay, I didn't agree with it, but you got it. But the second time, like just get a point. Like, now we're down like four points. Like get you want to close in the gap, but like bro, playing football left, like stop. Like he's outsmarting himself. There's no need. There's no need to do that. And oh, what's the other thing I want to say? Oh yeah. And you're still not having Carson Wentz roll out the pocket. Like it's not like he only rolls out when it's when um when the pocket when the uh, pocket's collapsing. But like, have, like for, first of all, you barely any play action. With well, the running game so going so well, why not do some play action? But you know, Pearson just wants his quarterback to stay in the pocket. And you know, for me, I just feel so Pearson needs to be on the hot seat for this. It's just not like he's not a good play car, guys. And remember, we called this guy. We're thinking, yo, this guy's a top 10 coach. He's not showing it, guys. Like, he isn't. And, you know, it could be the reason why we why we fought, why we fall this season. I mean, again, we can still win the division. You know, like, I am. People are freaking out about this hard schedule. I'm actually excited for it because I'm, I'm like, yo, what can we do against these top teams? I want to see what we can do a second, like, up against these guys. But we won't. If Peterson. Okay, at this point, man. I said, Peter should not be calling plays at this point. He's not going to get fired. We're not going to get rid of a coach, but he can't be calling the plays. He can't. Like, I know I understand we're in the middle, of, like, we're in the middle of the season, but now it's the time to, like, let it go. Like, give up, give up play calling, give it to somebody else. I think even Matt Nagy is, um, giving up play calling right now. So, um, and the sad part is you had two weeks to prepare for these guys, guys that you already beat. And, you know, just same issues, man. Same issues. So, it's like, I'm not, like, I'm pissed, but I'm not. Honestly, the game against Dallas was more, was more devastating for me of how he played on offense, but this game, oh, my God, man. Like, and we, and we said this, even, even if Wentz plays better, which he did, we still have the problem with Doug Peterson. That's it right there. His play calling is just bad, and something needs to change. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, we're in the middle of the season. Do I expect, expect a huge change? No, but... Something's gotta happen now. So, like I said, um, it's gonna be for today, guys. I'm gonna be um recording my re- reaction. I'm gonna actually um not reaction, but like my thoughts on episode two. But I'm actually gonna watch it again, take some notes, and we'll see what happens from there. So, anyways, guys, you guys take care. See you guys next time. Peace.